to welcome the honorable additional director general of police cid shrimati shika goel ma'am ips i request the honorable chief guest to please have a seat ma'am Now the lighting of the lamp ceremony. Event will be started by the Honorable Chief. In a illustrious career of 29 years of Madam Service, Madam has performed extremely well in Jammu and Kashmir. We can take the examples also. The ambush of SI, that case was initiated by Madam in Jammu and Kashmir. 
and the diamond heist case and many anti corruption cases also madam has investigated and i would like to mention a special thing about ma'am in handling maoism because madam has left an indelible imprint now with the humble publication of ma'am can we have a brief introduction about the pvc mutual move few points madam is a mention police trading center was established in 2017 may and from then onwards there have been many of the trading courses conducted the chronology are 2017 batch we have framed 270 nirman 2018 batch 328 nirman and january 2020 we have given a training of 330 civil civil women and in different course of time 45 days of course of pre and pro post promotion courses also we have given ma'am this is the third basic induction training which is going to commence ma'am and all the paraphernalia and the logistics required for commencing this training is already ready ma'am the total strength of the ladies are 422 from the 11 different units ma'am districts adilabad hyderabad jagityal kamaredi karimnagar mulugu nalgonda ramagundam sangareddy suryapet warangal and also the course of the training goes like this ma'am we have a indoor classes as well as the outdoor service also in the indoor syllabus we have first standard development law and order and security in the first semester and in second semester we have different criminal laws criminal laws and in the outdoor field also we have a parade lathi drill arms drill arms with weapons without weapons everything ma'am in the outdoor syllabus and to pass out them the 50% of marks are required on the human resources front in the indoor classes we have one sp rank officer one dsp rank officer four inspector rank officers and four sub inspector rank officers in the outdoor staff we have currently two reserve inspectors ma'am and four rsis and two arsis three high head constable and some pcs with great honor and privilege may i request the chief guest the honorable addition division of police cad shrimati shita goel ma'am to address the trainees principal uh, ptc madhav swami all the faculty of all the faculty and staff of uh, the ptc and all the new entrants into the telangana police so first of all i welcome all of you to this big family of telangana police i say family because the time which you will spend with your colleagues and the police in the next 35 plus years all of you are very young at least you will have 35 years of service i guess will be much more than the time which you spend with your other family your blood relatives your married family and all so most of our waking hours actually are spent in office or with our colleagues so this is one big family and like in family you have some uh, youngster some old elderly people like me some young people like you same is the family of telangana police well this is one department where you will find four generations working together So if one generation is first generation is like your generation after thirty years, then next generation thirty to forty, then forty to fifty years, and then fifty to sixty one years. So four generations work in every even whether you are in the police station, office, AR, you will have people belonging to all these four generations under in one place. So the mass system is very complex where interpersonal relationship is concerned. But for me, the first, the next beautiful part is to have seen so many of girls joining the police. Twenty nine years back, they did join the police. There was hardly any girl. If you uh, when we went to the police station. Most of the police stations did not even have bar for two girls, even in urban areas. That is all where we are women or girls. The first thing which we should start is that you are not women police. You are police officers who are also women or girls. Is it even a difference? 
I highly request also the faculty to stop calling them women police officers. They are not women police officers. They are police officers. Believing that we are police officers, will we perform as police officers? There is no duty which you should not do, which any of the male officers, any of other police officers do. When girls can drive auto to fly planes, okay, when our uh, satellites are designed by scientists who are also women, then why should we be only doing some duty which is related only to women? No. So we have joined police in order to be treated as or doing work only for women. In fact, we have an advantage. There are certain duties in the law, as per law, which only a woman can do. When a woman prisoner, a woman victim statement, a woman escorting, that is only which we can do. But there is no duty which we cannot do. In fact, there are duties which men cannot do. But there is no duty which we cannot do. So, always remember that as the law actually gives you greater status. And so, never ever feel that you have to do duties which people say only women will do. No. The duties which are to be performed as per law for women is in addition to all other duties as police officers which we should do. And why am you, I am telling you this? Because when you are doing your training, be prepared and take all the skills which are required for any type of duty. You are working in AR, which means law and order control, which means escorts, which means uh, uh, PSO duties, which means uh, bomb disposal duties. Learn each and every skill. Because what happens is that there is the always a tendency that they will try to give us duties thinking because all the senior officers and main officers, they are very protective. Just like in family, our fathers are very protective about girls. Similarly, in the police department also, all our male colleagues are very protective for us. Nothing wrong in that. But we should always remember, and whatever I am telling you is what I have also practiced myself in life, is that their protection of care should not in any way come in my professional group. So, just because uh, they are protective, that is good from their side. But I should have the skills, I should have the desire and I should demand that I will do every duty which is possible for any police officer to do. So, skill yourself like that. The, don't get relegated to duties which are only considered soft. We are not soft. For the training which you will undergo, all the training parameters or the exam which you gave is the same exam which everybody gave, correct? The need will be separate paper and para. A physical test, whatever is prescribed, will qualify yourself. In training also, I don't think there is any difference between training of male officers. So there is no difference in standards. Uh, in fact, uh, because of certain logistic problems, we are having separate training. But we are hoping that from the next batch onwards, there should be mixed batches and training. We should not have just like for me when I, I in IPS, I got trained with my male colleagues. You all are also mature people, you can also got trained, but we did not do not have infrastructure facility, which I am sure will be created by the next batches, so that we will have mixed trainings. Idea is 
that for all of us, especially when you are a woman, especially when you are in a job which is very very male dominated, the numbers are increasing but even now we are about 10-11% of the total force. So till we reach that 25-30% of the force, till that time the major atmosphere of work remains the male dominated atmosphere and therefore it is very essential for us to prove ourselves at every place, every point. So, if you yourself start getting comfortable saying that, okay, give me easy job, I will do only this duty, everybody will be very keen to give you those duties only. So that, but is that why you join the police? Tell me that. If you want a very comfortable job, then you could get, become a teacher also, right? Ma'am. Correct? Yes, ma'am. But if we have joined the police, we have joined a department which is tough. It is also a department which may not be your first choice. It is possible. But now that you have joined, by my own experience of 29 years, I can say that this is one of the best departments to join. First of all, this is the department where you get most recognition. Now, when you will wear uniform, no. uh, right now you are not in the police uniform like I am, but when you wear that uniform, are you not very different from all your other friends and family members? Yes. Right? Yes, as soon as you have got selected in uh, the police, there would be a different kind of, uh, you know, some people will be happy, some people will be a little jealous, some will be surprised, right? Yes. Now imagine the day when you will wear this uniform and go back to your home. How, how your status has changed overnight, correct? Yes. And especially for us girls, how many girls, this is just how many girls in the society in Telangana actually wear a police uniform? Very few. Now when we wear a uniform and when we are out, whether we are managing crowd, whether we are at home, whether there is everybody, every other girl and boy and they are surprised. Some so many of the girls who are your friends or who are younger, they will look for you at inspiration. Many of you and I, for example, in my family, I am the first police officer, first person to wear your top. <laughs> Similarly, many of you will be there, baby, not only in your, uh, not only family, the entire neighborhood look, you must be the only girl who will wear a uniform, correct? Yes, Does that not change your status? Yes, sir. It changes, why yes has become so yes, so soundless? Yes? Yes. Yeah. So, this job, if I have nothing against any other job, but just for example's sake, if you had become a teacher, will your status change that much? No. Will it change that much? No. There are so many girls, even if you become nurse, will it change that much? No. But as soon as you wear this uniform, you are different from the crowd. Now, this job, when it gives us this status, means that we have some responsibilities. If you don't feel proud wearing this uniform, then there is no reason to be in the service. The every time, in fact, right now my posting is CID, which means that I am, actually I am supposed to wear civil dress. 
But today when I was coming here, I thought why? I will wear my police uniform only and you. Because the, every time, this is, I am now 29 years in the service. But every time I wear this uniform, every day when I wear it with this uniform, it gives me a different identity. I am a different person in this uniform. And therefore, when I take ten pride in uniform, the first thing starts is turnout. Even now, after 29 years, when I wear my uniform, I check, yes, everything is in order. Uniform is properly ironed, properly tucked in, shoe is polished. That is very essential. Because if turnout is not good, the pride goes immediately. Now imagine if today I had come here, my uniform was not ironed, my shirt was going somewhere, my shoes were not polished, hair was not tied up, then would you feel that uh, this is something a good officer is standing or not? Uh, you would feel a shabby, shabby like that is it. Same impression is when you are on the road, when you are doing duty. Imagine hundreds of people which who go, who pass or who see us when we are doing duty anywhere. Whether it is at a traffic junction, whether it is crowd control, anything. When we are uniform, because of this uniform, we are the most visible wing of the government. So when we wear this uniform, people see us that, okay, this is... If you are, if you are a, any other department, revenue department, any department, if you are standing, nobody will even come to know that you are a government officer. Okay? But you are wearing uniform, everybody knows that you are a government officer and you are a police officer. Now, how you, uh, how, what is your turnout, how you behave, how you stand, how you sit, how you talk creates an impression in the mind of everybody who sees you, whether he has any connection with you or not, or any connection with police or not. The impression about the police, Chala you were not in the department. So, till now, what do you know about the police? What is your impression of the police? Is only either in the movies though what comes, you might have thinking that this is police, or on the road, the traffic constable or some constable, how he is behaving, you will feel that this is what the police is. That is how the impression is. Correct? Because we, everybody does not come for any year. There is not everybody in any, uh, very few people come in direct contact with us. Most of us only create impression in what they see. Therefore, each and every one of us when we are in uniform, is a brand ambassador for the police and Telangana police. So, brand ambassador, tells me that. So, brand ambassador meaning, every, whatever is the product, the best has to be visible in a brand ambassador. So, all of us are brand ambassadors for Telangana police. And therefore, each of us has to be very conscious. Tomorrow you will be doing duty. Number of times I have seen. I, it's not only with girls, boys, everybody. While doing duty, we have duties in which you will have 10 hours, 12 hours. Duty is there. But in this training institute, you should build your stamina so much which will last for you for 35 years. And you don't need to be a sports person to have that. I have never done any outdoor in school college. But I qualified each and every outdoor and indoor training in, uh, in my academy. And even today, that stamina and that training is something which even at this age, if it pushes me, I am able to, yes, I have that confidence that I will be able to do. Most important is the strength of the mind.
it is not strength of the body if your mind is strong then you can overcome any of the physical requirements also of this job not only the mental requirements because when mind is strong we can bear everything so that is the most important thing for us also another important thing is right now all of you are young slim and trim after 20 30 years also you should remain like that you must have noticed many of us lose our shape and we start saying oh because we are pregnant child is born this is nothing if you are particular your body shape will remain good we look good in uniform if we are in shape never shy away from wearing your uniform never get into that habit of wearing that salwar kameez in uniform are you not color kudi hai that khaki salwar kameez chara bandi women police officers they say don't wear that that is suppose that is supposed to be worn only when you are pregnant don't get into habit of wearing that maintain yourself and wear this uniform another important thing is because as women we prepare that for us family responsibility will always remain even today every at 5 o'clock my cook will call me up asking me dinner to enjoy even now so whatever be your position those responsibilities will remain with us but the beauty of being women is that we are very good at multitasking i can manage my home i can manage my job but always remember as i have done for myself my job is important to me it is not a hobby or a pastime my job is important to me family is also important but there has to be a balance not that for my family i will always keep sacrificing my job whichever needs at a particular time priority will keep changing like that it should not be i i can confidently say that it my family is not my first priority my job is my first priority but but these priority keep changing if today for some reason something is important in the family which needs a child is sick that day that that will become important but next minute next day my job is important this does not go to any second seat if as women we start thinking that no oh, my first is family then job then i will tell you you are not in this right job if you are a police officer prepare for sacrifices also be very smart smart how what happens to us as women we think we will can do everything and we don't want to ask for help okay so then we become overstressed if to manage family especially family responsibilities do ask for help help that like be smart my mother in law to manchi relationship thodali somebody has to be at home to take care of the children kara yeah. so be smart as i said go kar i don't have that relationship I have good relationship good relationship with your parents good relationship with your in laws so that somebody is at home to take care while you do your job well, because alone you will not be able to do everything so that is be smart don't let your ego and all help they do those things have somebody you need you tell them please take care of this be nice to them everybody will help out always balance work and family but yes don't sacrifice your work and 
uh, since I have another meeting, one last thing is, as I said, the number of girls is still less. And therefore, as I said, each of us are brand ambassadors, not only for Telangana police, as women. So many more girls who look at us will get inspired to work in police to become independent by seeing you. But at the same time, since our number is less, what happens? Now, if in the group where you are working, if a male officer commits any mistake, so they what, what is the general impression? They will say, Srinivas is not a good officer. Or Srinivas has, I don't know, I don't know there is no Srinivas here. That, uh, that he has done. So it is Srinivas has made a mistake. Right? But if any of us makes a mistake, it is not that Shikha Gurel has made a mistake. It all is not good. What will be? All women police is like this. They cannot work. They are not competent. They do not. So, as women, it becomes very important that each of us has a larger responsibility for entire. So if I am not doing well, it will be reflected on all women who are working in the police. So that is the initial responsibility. That all of us have to ensure that we do our best. And when we give our best, so that the impression for everybody improves. And one more thing is they, they say that women cannot work well with each other. Other impression also we need to break. That all of us can work together, all of us can help each other, all of us will help each other get go better. Now when you are in this academy, there has to be a healthy competition on doing good. But at the same time, make sure that each one of you helps the other to do better. And in the academy, develop good friendship. This is a friendship which will last you for the lifetime. My friends in the, which, which I made, the new friends which I made when I was undergoing training, my other ones to whom now, even if I have any issue, I can call in the night too and discuss. Because they are also police officers. They understand the job. They are friends. You can share everything. So make good friendships which will last a lifetime. Training each and every one who has qualified and come here. If you are Sincere, there is no way any of you is not going to do well. It is just not possible. So, but important is that in this time, do develop relationships. Because training will end in 9 months. But the life will continue for next 15 more years. And the relationships, the friendships which you develop here are the ones which you will need in this uh, job and also in life. So do spend time together. When you are on the ground, when you are in the class, be serious, be sincere, try to learn maximum. Because after you move out of this academy, Nobody is going to teach you anything. After that, you have to learn on your own. So, try to take maximum from here. But, once you're, you are not in the class, you are in your barracks, interact with each other, spend time with each other, 
help each other and make friends so that life will be much much easier if you have good friends okay and uh, any of you have any problem as i said this is a big family in the family there are all types of people and if you we are all there to help you to understand when i 29 years back i was in a position where you are somebody was standing on this side and telling us and i was being i was there sitting there at th at that time what the person told did not make much sense but now later you realize that yes these things are important and they will make a difference in a government job many people don't work very hard many people do very casually they will still do the job and still remain in service they will still get salary at the end of the year end of the month but you have to decide for yourself what type of officer you want to be what will give you satisfaction doing your duty well feeling happy that you have helped somebody feeling that you have done justice to the job that you actually deserve this salary which you are taking is that more or not more important so work hard be very very conscious that you are in a job where women are really really required the one thing which can change the image of police department is presence of women good officers on and being seen by people on the road immediately the image of police improves when they is they say when they say i see us performing well on the road so do well if anybody has any issues if any of you have any problem this is one department where you do there is no problem you can just call us normal citizens also have our phone numbers our phone numbers are open 24 by 7 we don't say you cannot so you can call us any help any issue any thing which you feel is which is something which sometimes you do want to discuss only with a woman officer please feel free don't feel that there is a hierarchy you are just like uh, i would say i can't even say you are like a younger sister you are like daughters now so feel free if you have any problems call us tell us right now adg training also happens to be a police officer who is a woman so please feel free to tell us if there is anything where you have a problem you want us to talk to you uh, separately discuss we will obviously do that and also for this batch for your your ptc uh, wherever you can fix your schedule we will have a special session for posh and for them so wherever you are i will send a team who will uh, have a session for posh for them so uh, Give me uh, uh, one day, uh, at least uh, one day, if you need to us. So I'll send some experts who will talk to them for posh. Okay. So all the best to all of you, and uh, I hope you do well. Yes, sir. And then after forty years, when you retire, you retire as fit, as good looking in uniform as you are today. Thank you. Thank you for your valuable speech, ma'am. You have really raised the spirits of the trainees, and uh, we have taken your word, ma'am. We will call them as police officers, not uh, women police officers. And also, women are no less. In fact, they are more, ma'am. And the participation of uh, the women in the workforce, as you said, if that increases, then we will have greater impact on India. Okay, I would like to invite our fellow principal, Professor Namendra, to the chief guest, please, ma'am.
ceremony which are the deeply with the everyone present and served as a source of inspiration and also actually a sincere thanks to all below PDC principal Michael Swami sir for their gracious presence and guiding us to make arrangements to the inaugural ceremony I extend a sincere thanks to the trainees and faculty members and all the staff of PDC nation for their participation and exchange and cooperation in making arrangements to a successful inaugural ceremony. Thank you, one and all. I request our chief guest to target way to conclude this program. I am requesting all the participating singing national anthem. जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल वंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे